Richard, I'm wondering, do you work specifically with injuries? Injuries are one of the best applications of quantum touch. Whenever you're working with an acute problem, you get really fast results. Oh, I gotta see that. I have a young man, he's 12 years old, typically active skateboarder, really athletic, mm -hmm. musician, and uh, I'd like him to come on in. Let's see what we can do. Beautiful. Anthony. How you doing, Anthony? Hello. All right, good to see you. Want to take a seat? Yeah. So tell me, when did, what do you got going on? Um, well, usually, like, because I play a lot of basketball, mm -hmm. and after my games, or even after practice, or even just running a lot, mm -hmm. my knee will start to build up and tense up to where I can't move it. Oh, wow. How long has that been going on? Uh, for, like, at least six months. Wow. Do you mind if I check it out? No. Did you actually have a fall on it? Um, I've fallen on it a couple of times, but... Uh-huh. Well, he's 12 years old, he's growing a lot, and uh, he puts a lot of torque and, and pressure on these te tendons and ligaments and joints. You know, there's some inflammation and swelling in here with some limited range of motion. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do, Richard. Glad to give it a try. Yeah. Yeah, I did some research at the University of California, Santa Cruz, on the men's basketball team. We saw that an average 10-minute session reduced their pain by 50%. And some things work really quickly, some things take a longer time. That's what we can do right now in a little while. So we're getting the energy started, starting nicely. Anthony, what I want you to do is put all your awareness under my hands, see how much sensation you can feel in here, and breathe deeply right through that tissue. Yeah, that's good, very good. Now, do you feel any sensation in there? Yeah. What do you feel as I'm working on you? I feel a lot of tingling going up and down my leg. Ooh, do you feel that little crunch that happened there? Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah, keep breathing into it. This is a way of getting the client to assist in the session because he's, whether he knows it or not, he's actually running energy right now. Mm -hmm. I'm even picking up on it, I feel. You can actually feel some, yeah. Yeah, yeah we saw that at uh, UCSC, I worked on about 93 uh, cases. It was all documented by the head coach. Are these like athletes? Yeah, these were the, ba the men's basketball team. Mm -hmm. And an average 10-minute session reduced their pain by 50%. Incredible. But on sprained ankles, it took me as much as an hour, hour and a quarter. But you could actually see the inflammation go down radically in those sessions. The jammed fingers, I only worked on them for about two or three minutes because I got the pain down enough that they could play again. By the way, we forgot to ask, but how much pain was there before we started? Um, about, like, on a scale from one to ten, I'd say about a six. Okay, about a six. So we have something to compare it to. It's been about three minutes so far. Why don't you just um, stand up and just see what you notice so far. We'll continue in a minute, but I just want you to get a reality check and see how we're doing. It feels a lot less tense in this mm -hmm. knee. This knee feels a lot more tense than this one does. Uh-huh. And how's the pain doing in there? The pain went down a lot. So what is it now? I'd say it's about a two or one. Two or one. Not too bad, huh? Let's continue. Let's see if we can get it further. So. The, uh, do you, did you notice sensation going down lower on your leg? Is that yeah. what you're telling me? So point to the spot where you were feeling it. Way down there. Okay, put your foot up on the chair here. Good. So I'm going to work right here. See, we're using a very complicated technique called chasing the pain or sensation. Mm -hmm. So when it shifts, you tell me where it goes, and I put my hands there. Okay. So this is the area in the knee. Was like on this side or this side more? I was on this side right, more. Let's see. Now I'm using the where does it hurt technique. Very, very basic stuff. And we've had kids as young as uh, like nine or eight taking workshops from time to time. And they pick it up right away. There's no blockage. 
It really seems to me this is an ancient technique people have used all cultures throughout all times, and uh, it's uh, time to bring it here. Yeah, many cultures have discovered this or something similar to it, but for some reason it's gotten for, it's been forgotten, and we're just re uh, introducing it again. How's that feeling in there now? You feel the tingling still? It's moving down more. Where, point to where it's moving now. Well, I got, I had a really oh, bad okay. cut here. Let's let's work there. See, we're just chasing it from spot to spot. It's interesting when I work on sprained ankles, I'll work on the spot that hurts, and within five minutes they say, "Well, that's not doesn't hurt there, but now it hurts over here." And you discovered that there was a secondary pain, then a tertiary pain, and so forth. And you're working third spot, fourth spot, fifth spot, and people are walking more comfortably, much faster than expected. Yeah, the energy's moved really nicely through here. So why don't you check it out and see how it's doing? It feels much better. I, I feel like no tension at all in my knees. Mm -hmm. And it feels really relaxed. The muscles feel really relaxed down in my calf. Mm -hmm. Is there any pain remaining? No. Wow, that's pretty good, huh? Yeah. That's great. Well, congratulations. You did a really good job. Thank you. You're welcome, Anthony. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you yeah. so much, Richard. Thank that's you. That's amazing. Yeah. I, I sure hope not only chiropractors, but everybody can see the value in this and how easy it is to apply and what a difference we can make all the time. Uh, what you have to offer, I think, is not only valid, but important and do. It, it really is. When family members learn that they can do this work, and it's not just that I have some special gift. Everybody has the gift. It's like I'm not the only person that knows how to love, how to breathe, and how to feel inside my body. With practice, people get stronger and stronger at being able to do this. And when people see how easy it is to learn and how powerful it is, my hope is that this just becomes basic human knowledge throughout the world. Well, it's an honor and a delight, and I hope that your message gets across loud and clear. I really appreciate your help. Thank you. Yeah.